What's up guys, today I'm checking out this Tupac and Angie Martinez, never before heard interview snippet. Uh, I haven't heard this one, this apparently just released four days ago in my time, but uh, I have heard this one. Um, I've, I've listened to this one and I, I'm playing a show. I don't know if it was this one or not, but I definitely remember hearing one of these and uh, hearing Angie Martinez talk about uh, not releasing the full one because Puffy says, I don't know, something. Something to do with P. Diddy saying or telling her not to release it. But uh, yeah, I haven't heard it. And by the way, I think that's a whole load of crap. But uh, I haven't heard this new interview snippet, but I'm super excited to check it out. So without further ado, let's full screen and play. <laughs> and what's going down with that so i wanted to get his view and here goes a little something the East Coast. wait how did this even this is never before her and angie martinez isn't gonna release the interview anytime soon as far as we can tell so how did this even like come out if it Coast west coast thing is a musical thing that's separate that's a whole thing separate to itself. That's a musical thing. When we have been beefing See, about whose music is better or which is this or which is that like from the beginning, it right has now. because I'm the I'm a, like a lightning rod because I'm attacking New York's finest. Mm. Oh, he's talking They're about self-proclaimed king of New York. You know what I mean? I'm attacking okay, them yeah. so because nobody is separating themselves from him. They still talking, talking about how raw, yes. They okay. still talking about how raw he is and woo woo woo. He's a representative. He represents New York. There are a lot. Every time, every time it benefits New York, he represents New York. When it don't benefit New York, now he's just another rapper. I'm not but y'all let that. him wear y'all colors. You let him shout y'all shit out. When Biggie came out here, he screamed out, "Brooklyn's in the house." We don't beat mm. to say why are you starting a war. Why is everybody when I say West Side, it hurt people feelings? I, I don't think it's because you're saying West Side. Wow. I think because they think you know. On me. No, not at all. I think it's because, you know, Dog Pound video came out in New York, New York, and I'm not oh, saying yeah, he wasn't in the video. Wait, I know didn't, uh, who released the, uh, it was Mob Deep who released a New York, New York kind of parody video as he well. He wasn't in the video. I, wasn't but I, I didn't that, write though. it. I didn't produce the beat. All right, so let's I take was that. in jail. The album was done while I was in jail. That's separate. It just, you know what it is? It's, it, it's, it's New York's visualizing your camp, which to them is death yeah, row, death which row. is dog pound, which is Snoop, and which is, you know, which is that whole thing. It was all one time. The New York, New York video came out. You know, brothers was stepping on cars in New York, stepping on, Building. you know, I'll on New York like they cars. owned it. Boom, you come out next video. West what about, West what about coast. the video? Yes, it's whole, it is, to me, it is the best coast. And everybody in New York feel like that, too. That's why they come out here and party, man. Why is everybody acting like, come I'm on, not saying, I didn't on. say. Yeah, he's got a point there. Like, I feel like a lot of... Mm. Oh, I'm not say, it, but he's definitely say got Cali's a point the West about the West Coast. I never said um, New York is I never said New York party. is the worst coast. I just said where I'm at, where I'm from is the best coast. Why is that offending people? Okay. Mm. Sheesh, man. Now, now, this could be... Well, this is definitely a great interview, but this could be one of his greater interviews of all time. Uh, but I know, unfortunately, Angie Martinez won't release it because... For whatever reason, I, I don't even know the uh, exact reason, but for some reason, somebody doesn't want her to release. I think it was P Diddy last I heard. But anyways, man, this was definitely a great little snippet. Um, I wish I could hear the whole thing and just see his uh, perspective on the whole Biggie thing, because that's one thing a lot of people don't even realize or take into consideration the uh, or Pac's side of it or the true kind of uh, what he was thinking and going through during that whole East versus West Coast thing. And you know what I'm saying? From the media or from the worldwide view, it was just uh, Pac Drock hit him up. And then, or no, Biggie dropped, uh, uh, oh my God, what is the name of that song? Well, Biggie dropped uh, Who Shot You? He dropped Hit Him Up. And then it was just like a war, or, I don't know, something like that. But I definitely want to hear this whole entire interview. I remember hearing him talking about uh, the Aisha situation as well, I think. But uh, either way, this was definitely a cool little snippet to listen to. Definitely want to check out the full thing if it ever drops. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed my reaction to it, make sure you smack the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And if you guys want to send me another request, don't right now. But until then, much love, stay safe, and peace out.